A boy met a bear and took it as his pet. Is it possible? Strangely, this bear was extremely smart. So what will the bear do to the boy? Join me on this journey to uncover the truth. In the faraway land from the city, the orphanage stood in the sea of jungle as if it was an island. The midnight sky was suddenly illuminated by the bright shining object that fell near the center, drawing the attention of the entire army. The leader of the group was Mr. Big, the vicious leader. In in search of an unknown object, they launched the radar and kept a lookout for its impact on Earth. They called it Alien. On the brightest morning, an orphan boy named Billy was having his breakfast. A group of other kids were talking about him being isolated. No one wanted to sit near him. Billy didn't care about it because it was something he had experienced since he grew up here. After that, all the kids were playing outside, but Billy had no one to play with. So he wandered off into the forest to explore. Suddenly, he heard a strange sound, so he went to check out to find a giant bear wounded alone. Billy's heart was pounding with fear, so he turned and fled from the bear. However, as he ran, he couldn't shake the feeling that leaving the bear alone would be like leaving himself alone. Therefore, he went into the center and took the first aid bag to the bear. Though he was frightened of the bear, he knew it was too injured to harm him, so he mastered the courage to tend to its wounds. The bear was fully aware of his present but chose to pretend unconsciousness. Billy then went back to the center and took the honey because he thought bears loved honey. When he arrived at the same place, he didn't see the bear. When he turned around, he saw the bear towering over him, causing him to panic. Billy thought it 100% that the bear would attack him, yet it hugged him as if it were a human. Feeling shy and relieved at the same time, Billy hugged it back. He then gave honey to the bear and named it Billow. Similar to his name. Naming it was pointless, he said, resigned to the fact that they would soon go their separate ways. This was the first time Billy felt connected to the beer. Even if it was a short time, he was happy. He then said goodbye to see Billy's expression as if it was sad. He wanted to keep him, but he was just an orphan. For Mr. Big, he led his men to check the falling area, but he couldn't find anything. He wouldn't give up, so he saw a beer's steps. He then smiled because he knew the alien could strengthen form into a beer. Tomorrow, a couple, Jack and Jenny, visited the center to notice Billy was drawing a stunning picture of a beer. They questioned him, are you fond of a beer? He replied, yes. Jenny continued, oh, however, if you see them, be careful. He replied, animals are like humans, they can be good or bad. They both were surprised by his words. Now it's time for kids to play, but Billy went into the forest hoping to meet Billow. To his surprise, Billow was sitting there waiting for Billy. As soon as he saw Billow, he sprinted over to him, treating him like a fellow human instead of a pet. Soon afterward, Billy heard sounds of men approached. He thought they were the hunters, so Billy led Billow into the storage room. He didn't know what exactly to do, but he told Billow not to show itself when he saw other people. Oh, so the bear now understood human language. Then the sons of men approached the center. Billy found out that they were not hunters but armies. Mr. Big asked Miska, the manager of the center, if she saw anything strange, especially a bear. Miss Gar replied, Oh, sir, nothing crossed my nose. Mr. Big left with his men to continue searching. Billy wondered why the armies tried to find a beer. He rushed to the storage room and caught sight of Jake, who had just emerged from the room. Billy asked, mm, did you see anything? Jack replied, see what? I am just putting on my stuff. Billy rushed to the room and he saw Billow was waiting for him. He wondered how that boy didn't notice the beer. Billy was thinking of ways to find a new hiding place for his beer. But now the little boy hadn't found it yet, so he decided to keep him here. Now it's time for dinner. The news about an asteroid that may contain aliens falling near a group of children spread quickly. The journalist also gave an interview with Mr. Big. He uttered, Don't worry, our team is committed to securing the world. We catch that alien because we know it's
its location. According to our research, for many days, this alien can transform into a bear. Hearing this, Billy dropped the spoon into the bowl, startling all the children. He wondered if the bear he loved and hide in the story was an alien. However, the brave boy still brought food to his bear, but the bear didn't seem to like the food. Wondering, Billy asked, Are you an alien? Billy laughed at the question himself and was about to leave. The bear suddenly turned into an alien and could speak the human language. After seeing something shocking, Billy could not flee and remained rooted to the ground. The alien explained, Do not worry, I won't hurt you. You are my friend. I was shot down on your planet. Billy was curious and asked, What makes it possible for you to speak speak our language? I gained the knowledge of human language through online resources. Alien replied. Billy further asked, Do you have any plans to leave this world? Alien explained, I have called for help, but it will be about five days before my friend arrives. The room was peaceful until Jake entered. He stayed up shock, almost causing Alien and Billy to leap out of their seats. Jack said with a smile, Don't worry. I will keep this secret for you, but you all have to let me in your team. Since then, Billy and Jack have always been close to each other, and they did whatever it took to get all the kids away from the room. Day after day, they spent time together happily. Billy also felt like he had changed a lot after getting to know Jack and Billow. However, one day, without Jack and Billy protecting, Miss Gull came into the storage room to find some cleaning stuff. Miss Gull didn't notice Billow because he tried to remain silent and the room was dark. She touched him and felt something weird. So she turned on the light and saw a big bear standing in front of her. She didn't shout, so she just fainted. Jack and Billy came in and asked what happened. Billow replied, I have done nothing. I am standing still. During this time, Miss Big researchers used heat scanning technology and found huge amounts of heat coming from the orphanage center. They concluded that the alien was now hiding in that center. One researcher shouted, I found another thing suspicious flying toward our planet. Mr. Big remarked, It's possible that it's another alien. Then a notion of aliens will come to our planet too. We must prepare for war. Miss Girl, who had just woken up, found herself handcuffed and her mouth tied. Billy, Jake, and the Big Bear were standing in front of her. Jack said, Do not shout. This is not a dangerous bear. He is an alien who was shot down by soldiers. He's waiting for help. Miss Girl nodded in disbelief and they knew it was time to set her free. Her body shook uncontrollably from the overwhelming fear. She asked, why, why do you trust it, him or her? Whatever, why did, why, why did he fly near the earth? The two boys looked at each other because they forget to ask these questions. Below explained, my planet has been invaded by another vicious alien to take my planet source power. The rest of our people have fled in a giant spaceship. My group of 500 has been searching for a planet which has no being. Another piece of bad news is those vicious alien monsters will take over your planet too if they find out. After all, everyone was terrified and sorry for Below. How can it be that a creature with such great technology was still attacked by another creature? Anyway, Miss Gal let this alien wait for hell. Not long in the morning, Mr. Big's troops surrounded the orphanage. Miss Gal went out to ask what happened. Mr. Big explained he knew that alien hide here, so he wanted to catch it. Miss Gal told him that this alien was not harmful, so let it be. He didn't care about her words. With no choice, Miss Gull asked him if she could at least lead the kids to a safer place. He allowed it, but they needed to be scanned. Jack and Billy evacuated all the children to safety. Despite their worry for Billow, they felt helpless because nobody would listen to them. When finished, Billow exclaimed from inside the house, Why do you all want to catch me to experiment? This action is cruel. I don't want your planet because I understand the feeling of being robbed. Big didn't understand the alien's words because he wanted to prove his power. The force of the attacks was so strong that the ground beneath them shook and trembled. Out of choice, Billow turned into a huge robot and attacked by absorbing all the metal pieces together. Everyone, including Mr. Big, was surprised at how powerful 
powerful this alien could be. But Below stopped the attack and said, You all should worry about another alien group who destroyed my planet. They are unmatched. Suddenly, another giant alien jumped into the area and attacked Below. Big was surprised by the enormous size of this other alien. They teamed up with Below to shoot it. By working together, they successfully defeated this alien monster. Your planet will be in danger because they knew the location of your planet, Below said. Then he transformed into a bear and walked towards a group of children. Billy spotted his alien's bear walking towards him. They both hugged each other and said goodbye for the last time. Below did not expect people to have such a big heart. Billy himself thanked Below because he helped him to be able to communicate with others more easily. Below's team to right, he climbed into his spaceship and flew out of this world. For big days fear of other aliens creatures, so he took the dead alien corpse and experimented to make a weapon prepared for the war. Our story ended here. Do you all think that people can resist that monster alien? You may comment down below.